We got the Browns. We've got the Ravens uh, in a AFC North showdown here. Browns favored by three. The over under on this one is 38. Thoughts on this game? Taking Cleveland in the under. The game, it's not the greatest weather that we're going to have there in Cleveland. I think the under probably actually helps the Ravens, which I could see them covering that three. Um, or excuse me, I could see them coming close and then, you know, Cleveland kind of putting them away there at the end. So three point game for most of it, but. We don't do pushes here. So I'm going to say Cleveland finds a way to cover. Um, I'm taking the under. It's going to be one of those NFC or excuse me, AFC North games, right? It's going to be a little grimy. Um, I think you're going to see a lot of J.K. Dobbins, a lot of um, Nick Chubb. Ravens rush defense has been pretty good. So Watson's going to have to make a couple throws down the field. Maybe you see DPJ step out and really emerge and continue to emerge or Maybe you see Amari Cooper uh, kind of come back to the forefront. Here's the number one receiver. Yeah, and I, I kind of like DPJ in this matchup there as well, especially from a fantasy perspective. But I do think that we are going to see a um, – I think we're going to see the, the, the Browns win this thing at home. Right again, you've got Deshaun Watson kind of on the, uh, you know, prove it to her it seems like here a little bit uh but i also think that you you hit the nail on the head with something earlier when you were talking about a lot of running backs being featured in this game and i think that one of them in particular is going to have a has a pretty juicy line set jk dobbins over 47 and a half rushing yards and i think that you're going to see both cleveland both baltimore really grind this thing out to the point where cleveland carries the three and we see an underscoring type of game here yeah, uh, after 120 last week, his first week back, I, I think this number's a crush over. I like that prop a lot. I have Deshaun Watson over 215 and a half passing yards. Um, now, granted, it took him 42, 44 pass attempts last week to get up to 248 or 247, whatever that was. But it was a big step from week one. So I, I guess I'm counting on the progression and the getting back up to speed a little bit. I find him to be more efficient this week. Um and with that, I think he passes 215, honestly, fairly easily. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if he settles in around 240 to 250 yards passing again this week. 